Oh, excuse me. <coughs> you probably heard me slugging that uh, water. Okay, thank you for joining me. I'm going to be doing a little bit more show and tell, and then I'm going to do a um, tutorial on how to do some beaded flowers. And I'm going to do a baby's breath type of flower, um, like a, a background thing. Okay, in the meantime, I think I've show, shown you these. I'm not sure. I think I probably have. A bit of gold. Some flat blue, teal. A really vibrant pink. A little, uh, oops, that way. There's some little um, bling inside the two daisies. Some green, gonna have greenery, and that one. <coughs> okay, now I've worked on these lately. Gosh, I've got a tickle in my throat. <coughs> and I've done a spray in different red beads. It's like a little tree almost. To go with that, we've got this one. Different shade of red, but it still goes with that. Looks really nice. Let me just grab a piece of paper. Then going with that one, we've got this red flowers with a with a um, white pearl. There we go. That's, that's the red one, and that's a set. This little one here. is we've got some very pale almost an olive olive green here so it's just beautiful and a really pale blue with a translucent bead in the center okay i think i've shown you this one before with all the colors this one I don't know what else goes with that. I'm sure there is something that goes with that. I'll have to sort that out. I'm sure there is one more. Or maybe not, because some of them are only two in the pack. Okay, this one. It's a little bit of unusual. These are oblong beads. So I just took advantage of that shape and put, shoved them into one of these, um, what do you call them? Yep. Cups. Their name eludes me. It's not important. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, and then we've got this. With blue faceted beads, two different kinds of beads on the one strand. You can see one is slightly darker on the screen, but in real life, there's not so much difference. But it really is very pretty. So you can you can move them about to whatever whatever design you want, whatever you're looking for. You can move them about for certain certain ways. Okay, and this one is just just a spray of tiny beads. Okay, they go together in a pack. Now this beautiful blue. This is just an amazing dark blue gorgeous and we've got a, a, 
pearl, same size in the center. And this one, well, these, are, these are glass beads with a little bit of gold through them. And they're in a, um, a flower shaped little cup there. And then one of them is in full bloom with a resin um, flower. And then I've got this tiny little spray of blue. So they can be moved to whatever you want. And that's that set. Okay, where'd that come from? I didn't go with that one, that's for sure, unless... Aha, uh -huh, maybe the small one went there. And that one went there. Okay. Now this one, oh, I love this one. I just love peach colour. It really is a beautiful colour. So you see that? beautiful peach and I've got a larger pearl, white pearl in the middle it makes some make some pop and then we've got a little spray and then some leaves some leaf spray okay that's, oh and this there's another in red that I'm working on. That's one flower. Oops. Okay, so I'm still working on this, this set. There'll be another one or two that go with it. Okay. So I'll take that away because I'm going to be working with white. These are seed bead size 12. just some pliers just in case I need to squeeze some wire and then I've got my little snips now the wire is a 26 gauge and I buy it from Spotlight okay I'm going to do uh, like I said a spray of a baby's breath type of thing. So I'm going to want quite a lot of wire. Let's see how we're going here. Um, that's 43. enough. We'll stay with the 86 and if we need more we'll, we'll start another spray and add it. Easy peasy. Okay. And what I like to do first is straighten it out as much as I can with my fingers. Fold it together like that. And then put a little loop there in the bottom. Let's put that paper there just in case I need to show you something. Can you see that? There we go. It's in a loop. Okay, let's open these pretty beads. Plastic box. Yeah, 
I just want to get pick up three. Could never do that, you know, scoop, scoop, scoop. Never works for me. One, two, three. Bring it right down to that. And then just with your thumbnail inside there, near that last bead, and your forefinger, and grab these two ends of the wire, like that, and then just twist. Twist until you get a really tight um, Tight twist on it, holding those three beads there. And I've twisted it, I think, about one, two, three, four times. Looks like a piece of baby breath, doesn't it? So I'm going to go probably five, five times. I'm going to take one of the strands. on it. Now I'm going to make this one about the length of my my thumb, maybe the width of my thumb away. Then I'm going to fold it. Okay. So I've got that. Again, hold them tightly together and twist really well. Because the last thing you want is a loop of wire at the top of your beads. Oops. That's why these come in handy. Just gently, don't force it, otherwise you will break the beads. In there. I've done it about one, two, three, four. Take that back. Grab that wire. Okay, I'm going to make another branch up here. Two, three. Just lick your finger and or not. Pull that out, decide how long you want it. I'm just going for about half an inch there. Twist it over. Disregard that and down there for now. Okay, that's got nothing to do with what we're doing. You've got this. Squeeze it. And twist. Four. Need a bit more on that wire, I think. A bit more twist at the top. Sometimes it just doesn't play, but you know. Don't get that fussed over it. Don't get that fussed. Okay. Now we're going to pop a little one up this branch. Okay, before we get it down to there, we're going to put another little flower up here. Take this one about at 
three eighths of an inch, give or take. And this one I'm going to twist all the way, all the way to meet that one down to down to there. Okay, twist, twist. Now that we've met that one, we're going to twist all the way down again to meeting that one. Whoops, to meeting that one. So we'll twist that. This is not very clear, is it? My videos. Okay, we've got those three on the end. Now we're going to turn and head back along the original strand here, just for maybe that. Maybe that length. Now we're going to pop another one. Just about again, I don't know, three eighths to a half inch, whatever. Twist, 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 and be careful with the twisting. You don't want to do too much because you will break your beads, they're not um, infallible. Okay, nice and tight. And you've twisted it right down to that base wire. Okay, now let's just go one, two. Then we're going to put another lot underneath that. Now, remember that is your first one. That is your top. And we're going off at the side. So just keep that out of the way. Let's do another one with three beads. They're all different sizes, these beads, so you can't expect. Oops! Lost him. You can't expect to get everyone uniform, and you don't want that anyway because nature's not like that. Okay, so we will. Let's go. Um, half an inch. Just over half an inch there. Grab those in the loop. Twist, twist, twist. Oops, I've only got two of them. What happened? Get out of my way. I twisted it. Ow! I went that way. There we go. Come on, stay together. Beads that stay together look good together. There we go. Twist, twist, twist. And then we've twisted halfway there. So let's take another one. So we've twisted halfway across that strand there. Would you see better on paper? So it's a little bit better, isn't it? What if I use coloured paper? Can you see that better? This is the base one, which is going to be the top. And I've shot off to the side there, and I'm still on the side. And then that last one I've twisted to halfway across. Now we're going to do one 
up there. One, two, three. And this is just going to be probably three eighths of an inch. That one. Make sure you've got your three beads calling, <gasps> forming that triangle roughly and twist this one back down to the base of this section so they meet together like that. Can you see that? They meet there. All twisted. Not bitter and twisted, just twisted. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go off a bit more. Then I'm going to do one more. Where'd you go? Three. Where are we? That's it. Quarter of an inch, three eighths. Make that one. right to to where they all meet okay now we're going back to where the first branch started okay we're going to twist and hold these wires twist twist okay you see where that one is there I'm going to go back to this one and just twist it a bit more to make it taller so that it can go down and meet that one. Okay, now they meet together. Twist it just a couple of times. Now this is your um, what's left of the strand you use to make all of these. So just let that, that is your beginning. Now we're going off to the other side to make the spray again. So let's up three beads okay I'm going to take it an inch away maybe it's just a little bit more than an inch grab it again just grab it with your fingernail there twist it tightly to start with and then just twist it down the strand about three twists I've got there now I'm going to add another spray up here seriously Let's go with about three quarters of an inch. Twist that top part with the beads, and we've gone down about four. This needs a bit more twisty. Oops, careful. Okay, that's what you've got now. Disregard this a lot here. This is what you're working on. And this one here, 
goes down to the base, your main strand there. Okay, we're going to put another little one here. We'll just go a quarter of an inch away. Just twist again. Twist it all the way to the base of that one. Right into there. Now we'll twist all the way down to meet that, that corner there. Not a corner, strand. Okay, see if I can just do it without grabbing the wire so you can see. Twist, twisting. You'll see when they come together. Okay, now you can grab the whole three of them and twist another couple of times. I'm going to do a strand that's going to fall down here. This makes a difference to seeing what I'm doing. Where are we? Does that make a difference? Okay, we're on that second branch. Oops. We've got our three that we've already done from the top of the branch. Whoa! Put three more beads in. Okay, I want this reasonably long, so we're going to go for an inch. I'm just roughly guessing it could be a little bit more, a little bit less. You don't have to be exact. That would be too mind numbing. Okay, now, you see that? We've twisted halfway down that strand there. Now we're going to add another three beads. Okay, we're not going to go for a whole new branch, we're just going to a quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch, thereabouts, just to add another little spray of flowers there. Okay, we've twisted it round down to meet where it came from. Now we'll twist a couple of times. And let's add another little flower. One, two, three. Again, this, look, we've got a bit more. Let's twist this a bit gently so I don't break my bees, because if I do, oh gosh. It stays there. A quarter inch, three eighths. Okay, and you've got that little triangle of beads there. Twist very tightly to start. Okay, and twist right to that main stem there, where those two joined the main stem. Okay, twist it. Now you've got them all three together. Grab those three, pull your wire down and now twist along that part of the main stem. This is your main stem here, the one that has not been twisted there and across here and that'll get you to the middle to where this, this one is. 
So we'll twist right to the end there. Okay, so we're all twisted. We've still got a bit of wire we can use, so let's go halfway, halfway here. Another little flower. Now we're just going to go, yeah, five eighths. Just twist, twist, twist. stem from that one down to there. So we just have to close that up and we'll twist, twist, twist. Then you've got that. Bring them together. Hold them firmly. Do you know I could put some more in. I'm thinking I might do actually. I'm just going to twist twice, maybe three times. I'm just going to put a little bit more in. I think it can do with, because I don't need a, a huge stem at the end flower. It'll just get cut off, so. Just a quarter of an inch. Twist, twist, twist. Till you meet again in the middle. One, two, three. Make sure your longest piece of wire is where you're going to make your next flower. So I'm going to make it this. I like to alternate sides. fingers a little. So I've still got a little bit more that I could use so let's twist and whoops wrong way hmm <laughs> twist until they meet and then instead of twisting I'm going to add another flower at the base of that one. Okay, I'm just going to put it again only quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch. Twist that around. Now I've twisted it so that they all meet. Now that is long enough for a stem, which is, let me see here, about eight centimeters is fine for a stem, that's all you need. So now that I've got my main stem, which is eight centimeters, I've still got enough here to do another, another flower. We 
you see now why we needed such a long piece to start with. Twist it till it meets. There. Hold them out of the way. I like to twist them like this. I like to put my thumb in there. Grab this and then just twist and ease the, the wire around your thumb. some baby's breath that you can move around to whatever whatever you want and don't forget the back as well with this you want it nice and bushy and stay together. There we go. Now for a nice bunch of really good healthy bunch of, of baby's breath you would do another one exactly the same and then add them together and you've got a really nice big bunch of baby's breath. See which one can you see better on? Doesn't that look gorgeous? Looks almost real. Let's see if you can see better on the white. And funnily enough, you are. Now, wouldn't this look nice also in pink, purple? And I've got a nice green. This is great. If you do it with green, it's great for greenery behind um, your main flowers. So there we go. So you do, um, yeah, two of these. Um, put them together and then just twist them together and then arrange the new the new bunch to interlock with that one. That's really pretty. Okay, that's it for now. I'm going to go and do the other one. But you don't need to watch me, do you? Do you? Um, yeah, why not? We'll keep going. We'll keep going. You can always turn off if you've, if you've had enough. So we go roughly with 86, wasn't it? Roughly 86, just about that. And don't forget, 26 gauge wire now would that be nice if with the yellow I mean oh I never thought of getting yellow bees I don't know if you can actually can't say as I saw any anyway wouldn't it be nice with pink as well beads. One, two, three. Just 
to the center, get your little triangle. In there and twist. I've twisted about eight times on that one. big branch here so we're going for about two and a half centimeters what's that an inch and a quarter give or take This is my um, my main stem, so I'm just going to put those together like that, out of my way. So I've twisted halfway down, okay, pull up, and make another little branch. There's no set set rules or anything. You can make as many branches as your wire permits. Okay, so we're going up there. whatever length you want we've gone a little over halfway down another three beads on okay we only want about that dif difference between the main branch and the beads so it's about three eighths of an inch down to meet them. Okay, that's what you've got so far. Disregard that. This is your new branch here. Okay, so let's twist those together for one, two. Let's put another one in here. quarter inch thereabouts twist okay you see I've got a big loop there a loop of wire I don't know if you can see it so I have to work on that let's see it's very loose I'm going to grab that and then twist these again. Being very careful. Okay. Now let's twist them right to meet the next one. Okay. And that's the way it is at the minute. That's your main flow there. Let's create another branch. And we do want a bigger branch so let's go 
an inch, three quarters of an inch thereabouts. Twist, twist. For about three or four. Let's have one on the top. So move your wire to the top. Like that. And pop in three more beads. Not going too high, half an inch, three eighths of an inch more like I think, and twist. Twist all the way back to your stem. Okay, once you've met the main flower, twist it again until your little flower's up. Now let's add some more. Oh, I can't find me all. There we go. Try and keep it the same orientation so you don't get confused. Okay, again, three quarters of an inch. No, no, sorry, five eighths. to the stem there. Another couple of twists. And let's put one more in there before we get to the end of our stem. Gosh, could you imagine me trying to do this if I had long nails? This is only going to be a quarter of an inch, this one. Okay, twist it right till it till it meets that. Now you need to twist it all the way to meet the main branch offshoot here. There. Because you've got the single thread there. Okay, that's our first branch. This is our main one. We've only got that left, so we're not going to... We're just going to go up to there to meet that. I'm not going to put any more on that, I don't think. If we need any more, we'll do some later. Okay, so now we've done that little branch. We can maneuver them, place them wherever we want them. Now we're going to go on to the other side where we've got the longer wire. So just turn it around till you're comfortable. Okay. Now we're going to do long, a long branch with a flower at the end on this side. Stay there. Whoops. Okay, we're going what? An inch or just over inch it and twist it one, two, three, four will do and this one we only want a small um, space so we're just going a quarter inch on this one pinch it and twist it until it meets its neighbour there. Now grab them both, 
and twist your wire onto your secondary branch, which is that one there. We go one, two. While it's still up there, we're going to add some more. We could do a longer one. Let's go three quarters of an inch on this. twisted it one two three four times we're going to put another flower on this side quarter of an inch away twist it until it meets there. Bring your wire down. Okay, that's what you've got. You can see uh, the stem there. Twist it again. One, two, three. Then I'm going to put another one in. You can put as many as you like, as many as you've got wire for. We only want a single, we're not going to branch off this one at all. Twist it till it meets its, not meets its maker, <laughs> meets the beginning. This is a bit loopy, that's better. Okay, we've got those three off that one single little branch there. Let's see it there. So twist all the way to meet the previous join. Not join, what would you call that in a tree? You know where they branch off? Not sure. Okay, once you meet that, turn it round, pull your wire down, give it a twist, one, two, three, That's the top one there, so that's the way it goes. Two, three, maybe four. Yeah, so we're going downwards now. Another flower. Um, string you have left wire, sorry I'm actually going to do this three quarters of an inch away because I am going to add one tiny branch into it three, four I'm going to add one more flower This one is just going to go pretty close to to its mama. Just a bit less than a quarter of an inch. Wind it, twist it until it meets. Okay. Now we'll grab these two together and we're going to twist the strand around the single strand of wire there. So we twist, 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 twist. 
right up to you meet where the the other twist started. Okay. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to put another one in there. We've got plenty of plenty of wire. We'll put another one, another flower. Just a small one. Three smallish beads. We'll just go another, I don't know, three eighths maybe. Way, oh yes, it's got three. See, I've got a huge loop there. Too much. Carefully, carefully. Here we go. Now, if you get confused when you're doing it at this point, just just have a look at it, and I mean that can confuse you. Okay. Now we remember that is our central piece. So that, that, <laughs> confused myself. That is the way it goes, that way. So we're on this branch, the second branch here, and we're branching off into different little, little bits. So let's twist this so it meets that. Now we're going to twist along that the next single layer of wire. Remember, that's our central strand. We're taking this branch across to the central strand. And you know what? I'm going to put another flower in there. Just because I can. Because I want to. Just a quick quarter of an inch. And then we'll carry on twisting. Okay, now we've we've met that center, that first one we ever did. Okay. Now we can twist these, one, two, we'll go two, mm. twist it to meet that one. Okay, now you've just, you've got right back to the beginning and you've got these two strands. Okay, and again, we've got some spare room here on that one. We've got about an inch and a half there. So I'm just going to twist it twice. Then I'm going to add another little branch with a flower. I might get away with dividing this new branch into two. Come on. Seriously? Yay. Three. I think we might. I'm not sure. We'll put it up to about half an inch, maybe not quite half an inch. Twist it. Um. Okay. 
Yeah, that'll do. Just that one more. Let's twist that. Gently, gently, bently. That's it. We could still put another one. But no. I can't wait to try one in pink and green. Perhaps I should have done this one in pink to show you. Anyway, we've finished our twisting. Let's get our snips. And just snip it at the bottom. Okay, and then we just maneuver, just move around our little tighten up any you see that might be a bit slack. Just move them around so that they look like a nice bunch, not flat. Yeah, that one's a bit slack. So gently, gently twist that. Okay, so I think we've got another one. Okay. Decide where you want to where you want it to go. There, I think that's good. And you must twist both stems. Don't no, just wind one around the other because that one will just pop out. You've got to twist both of them so that they both get a turn at, at going round. Inevitably, it's going to make your, st your stem a little bit smaller, but that's okay. I find that when I'm decorating boxes, etc., I don't need all the stem, and I usually, yeah, I don't need all the stem, and I usually go like that or something to glue it. Still, okay. Here's a lovely big bunch of baby's breath. Okay, that's gorgeous, it really is. Okay, thank you so much for being with me for this little tutorial. And I hope to come back with more on different types of flowers and show you what I've been up to. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like my video, please click like. I'd really appreciate it. And also, if you subscribe, that would be awesome. Thank you. See you later, my friends.